Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Wherever you are in the world, hope you're safe, hope you're doing well, thanks for tuning in. These are solo runs and in this one I am going to do Lapras and I've used Lapras in my team many times before and Lapras in Gem 1 is an absolute tank. It's going to go through Gem 1 pretty easily, I don't see Lapras having any issue at all. So let's go ahead and select Lapras, uh, let me just get that off, cool, okay, yeah. So like I was saying, Lapras, uh, what moveset to start with, as you see, it's stats, pretty well rounded, good HP as well, water gun and growl, it's, it doesn't level up very quick, but in fact, it, no, oh, no, it won't lose the first battles, it'll come close, but but with Water Gun, that basically means it's going to win against Brock. Alright, grab a couple of potions. Um, okay, let's first let's talk about Lapras's moveset. Lapras's moveset is really good. It learns Surf, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Psychic. It also can learn Body Slam. Its move pool is amazing. It's no problem there. Stat-wise, it's pretty well-rounded and it's pretty solid. Um, it's not quite as bulky stat-wise as Starmie. Lapras does end up with more HP. It ends up with a lot more HP. It ends up with about, it's usually over 400, which is quite high. Um, but yeah, Lapras is really, really good. Um, it's not gonna struggle against Brock. It's not gonna struggle against Misty. Then again, it might not have anything that can really damage Misty, now that I think about it, but... Um, Surge... Okay, it will be weak against Surge, but it will probably still win. Um, Erica... As long as it can outspeed, Lapras can use Ice Beam. Against Koga, no, Lapras can use Psychic. Against Sabrina, Lapras isn't strong, but it's not weak against Sabrina by any means. Um, Blaine, easy, surf. And that's pretty much it, isn't it? Rival battles, Lapras is very well rounded with that moveset of surf, ice beam, psychic, thunderbolt. You're effective against like, I think it's maybe 10 of the 15 types. And it is water and ice typing, so. So basically, Lapras isn't going to have any problem. Okay, now that it's level 8, let's head back down to where that rival battle is. So Lapras is only going to lose this battle if it gets hit by its hand attack and then just continuously misses, which has already happened. Okay, with Leech Seed and missing, Lapras is probably going to lose this battle. Oh, there we go. Got a crit and it got another crit. Okay, lucky because if you're missing a lot with sand attack and you're leech seeded, you will hemorrhage your health bit by bit while restoring the other Pokemon with a move that's not very effective. So, but we get the win. Let's head up to Brock. He's junior trainer, the light years guy, and. And Brock. So Brock is going to be one shots, obviously. Same with the junior trainer. Well, junior trainer might not be one shots for everything, but um, no problems upcoming. Yeah. So Diglett wasn't a one shot. Sandshrew wasn't either, but Brock will be one shot on Geodude, one shot on Onix. Okay. I never use Bide, it's a, it's a bad move, you don't want to be sitting there for two or three turns taking hits. Okay, up to the bug catcher. That's level 12. We have Bim Poison, but that's okay. We have Antidotes. Get through Rattata, get through an Ekans. Get through another Weedle. Level 13, very nice. Lapras is progressing, fine. Get through Caterpie, get through some Metapod. 
Level 14. I'll skip the Jigglypuff. So, I don't know what level Lapras learns its move that, but... Um, with Water Gun alone, it should... Its slow level up might hinder it a little bit, but it shouldn't lose in here. Tell you what, this encounter rate, again. When I did my run with, um, come on, don't just keep hitting yourself in confusion. Um, well, I have enough water gun to get through the cave. We're at level 15, so that's fine. We should be fine. <clears throat> At level 15, Lapras learns Sing, which... Oh, perfect. Perfect latch on the, um, on the speed-up toggle. Pick up my Great Ball for Spiro. Grab the rare candy. I'm gonna do Misty's gym trainers first. It's a little bit of an easier battle given that Lapras is actually not that high of a level. <coughs> level 17, Goldeen shouldn't be any issue. Actually it might be because of con because of that stupid supersonic. Oh you Rick. All right, well, if Lapras is in full health, it should be a win. This is a stupid fish. Okay. All right, Lapras is probably going to struggle from here. It will struggle to beat this rival trainer. Because if I'm getting hit by sand attack and I'm going to miss... I'm not going to be able to get through Bulbasaur. How many times can you miss on Sing? Right, Lapras is going to get stalled here. It should be able to beat Star you okay, but it's not going to be able to get through Star Me. It's not going to have enough health. And it's not going to do enough damage. I'm going to have to have to level up a little bit. If I can catch a Spearow from here. Oh, very nice. Okay. I'm going to have to come in. I'm going to have to maybe level up once or twice. Because um, Lapras right now isn't strong enough to get through either one of those battles. And the Pokemon here are not strong. <coughs> I didn't think Lapras would get off to a start this bad, but only with Water Gun. It's going to need more than Water Gun to get through Misty and it's going to need a higher level to to deal with the rival trainer how much? 321 no, we're going to have to get Lapras's power points back and you don't really want to use your rare candies this early because obviously you need more experience later in the higher levels That's not really any use. Right, let's try Misty again. Alright, Water Gun is doing a bit more damage, at least. So, alright. It's not doing anywhere near enough with Water Gun. Yeah, it just isn't strong enough. Alright, let's try the rival trainer again. Still don't outspeed. Oh, actually, yes, we do. Ah, oh, accuracy drop. Alright, Rattata, one shot. 
We're going to have to get lucky because we have been hit by a sand attack. And we're leech seated and we're missing every second. Every second move. I hate sand attack. I honestly do. It is the most stupid move. It's so broken. Because in theory, Lapras should be winning this battle. So... There's a water and there's sand attack. Might as well just write the battle off if it gets hit by sand attack. Alright, it's it's hit a bit. Okay, it got lucky. Lapras got lucky there. You wouldn't usually hit that many times in a row after you've been hit by sand attack. So you can at least get a little bit up Nugget Bridge. But we're quickly running out of PP. So yeah, not the start that I wanted. It's 11 minutes in. I think at this stage, I believe Mewtwo was already up to... Um, was already up to Vermilion City. Although we can't compare everything to Mewtwo. Because Mewtwo just slaughtered the game. Like, it wasn't even a contest. Alright, we should start to get things going a bit easier now. Now that Lapras is um, getting closer to where it can get get a couple of moves. I would, um, I'll go on the SSN and we'll, Lapras does learn Body Slam by level up, but I will get the TM off the SSN to get it earlier. Now, it could struggle against Oddish. And, ah, oh, I'm not gonna have enough PP. I don't have enough PP. Oh, no, I'll we'll just use the elixir. It's fine, we've got an Aether here. There's, I'd usually pick up four of them. I should only need one or two. Okay, let's help out Bill and let's get the SS ticket. Lapras is off to a really turbulent start. But let's give her a bite. Let's get rid of the minute. Okay. Should be able to beat Starmie now. Now that we've gained a couple of extra levels. Star is a three hit, yeah, much better. Yeah, it's a lot better. Alright, Lapras should win this. Alright, TM11, much better than Water Gun. Let's give it a growl. Alright, now that we got Bubble Beam, that gives us something better, because I think Water Gun's only like base 35 or base 40 or something like that. So Bubble Beam does a lot more. Okay, there's Body Slam already, so let's give it a mist. Level 25, okay, oops. Okay, Lapras obviously cannot learn dig. Alright, the Butterfree. I do battle with that Butterfree quite often. Alright, now that Lapras has got. Okay, it's level 25, let's do a stat check. Good attack, good special, decent defense. Let's, speed's not too bad. It's less than its other stats, but one stat has to be a bit lower, otherwise the Pokemon is just broken. Alright, since we already have Spearow, we don't need to go and catch it. And we can also just go straight to the rival battle. All right, 
right, let's go for body slam, good hit. Eradicate, body slam, good hit. Cadabra, body slam, one hit. Ivy Saw, body slam, two hits. Now that we've got body slam, it's going to become a lot easier to battle. And when we get past Rock Tunnel, we'll be able to get Ice Beam, which really will open things up. If we can beat Surge, we should be able to beat Surge now. We can get Thunderbolt. Lapras can learn Thunderbolt. How it can learn Thunderbolt is a different question, but it does. So it's like Starmie. Starmie learns it as well. Nope, only trash. Nope, only trash. Nope, there is only trash in here. Okay, I'm going to just hope that's in this corner. Fantastic. Okay. We're going to play this game again, are we? Okay, so we're going to play this game again. It's 50-50. It's either in the top left or it's the one that's right next to it on the right hand side. And there's oh, this is it does my head in. Silly. Okay. Surge. Body slam on Voltorb. Voltorb outspeeds me still. Pikachu won't outspeed, that'll be a one shot. Okay, Thunderbolt, that's not good. It's only gonna Oh Raichu's paralyzed. Okay, I needed the paralysis, otherwise it wouldn't have, it probably would have knocked me out next turn. It could have gone for Thundershock, of course, and that may not have done the job, but either way. Surge is done, Lapras knows Thunderbolt. And Lapras now is very, very good. With its, with its move pull, it's gonna, it's gonna go through these periods of the game very easily. Okay, to the right, up here, Caterpie, Body Slam, good, Weedle, Bubble Beam will do, will do the bugs in just fine. Okay, over to Rock Tunnel. Rock Tunnel shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I'll pick up the Super Potion anyway, just in case. Alright, Slowpoke, Body Slam, Body Slam. Alright, things are, are starting to get much better for Lapras. It won't struggle with... Okay, Poison, that's not good. I don't have any more antidotes, I've used them both. Should still be able to get through the cave. Ah, uh, where, where is he standing? It's alright, maybe an, an extra level won't hurt. I do still have two potions which I can use to boost Lapras's health back up while it's poisoned. Oops, where is he standing then? Okay. Some easy more points. Okay, Thunderbolt on Jigglypuff, Thunderbolt on Pidgey, Thunderbolt on Meowth. Get rid of this hiker. There's only one more mandatory battle here, and that's Junior Trainer here. She's nothing for Lapras. And despite being poisoned, Lapras gets through there pretty easily.
Okay, Pokemon Tower. I do the rival battle first here. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Growlithe Bubble Beam. Kadabra Body Slam. I don't want Confuse, sorry. Ivysaur. I would use Ice Beam. So the rival is actually going to be one of the easier battles because Lapras has so many good moves. Okay, let's head to Celadon. In Celadon, we can get Ice Beam, which pretty much then makes Lapras almost invincible, doesn't it? And we can also... Why did I battle her? She's... Okay, we can also get the TM for Ice Beam. And, and we can also get the TM for Psychic as well. And from there, that's Lapras's move set solidified until I get Surf, of course. But let's jump up in here. Do we? We have a couple of things we can sell. Dig. Okay, just a TM for Dig. Okay, a bottle of water and a bottle of water. Do you want a bottle of water? Okay, Ice Beam is a fantastic move. Get rid of Water Gun. And while we are here in Celadon City, let's grab us a HM for Fly as well. HM2, get that into ducks. And let's fly back to. I'm just going to quickly duck to Saffron so I can get the TM for Psychic. Want a bottle of water? Okay, over to Mr. Pokemon's house. Sorry, not Mr. Pokemon, Mr. Psychic. Mr. Pokemon's in Gen 2. Okay, Psychic, that's good for the Ghosts. Body Slam, Ice Cream, Thunderbolt, but da, 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 da. Let's get rid of Body Slam. Actually, let's get rid of Bubble Beam for now. We'll use, get rid of Body Slam when we get Surf. Okay, I am going to battle Erica. With Ice Beam, um, Lapras might not outspeed. Oh no, it should. It should at least outspeed. And because Lapras has such good stats, um, there was a crit, but they should all be one hits. Almost. Almost all one hits. Okay, do a quick heal. Okay, let's go down into the rocket corner. Into the game corner, let's touch the poster, the switch. All right, there's another PP up in that tree. All right, down the stairs. Down this way, to the left, to the right, back down, through here. Battle the dude that has the lift key. Okay, very candy. Up, up. Up this way. Down that way, down here, down into the elevator. Okay, Ice Beam, Sandshrew is down, Body Slam Ekans, 
ice beam sand slash good win. Ekans, ice beam was fine, ice beam was fine, Arbok, uh, psychic, easy win. And we'll also get an easy win against Giovanni. He's easy because of him using mostly ground types. Get rid of Kangaskhan. Alright, escape rope. Let's get out of. Yeah, I only picked one of them up. Usually I picked the other one up on the rock, I didn't actually pick that one up. It's okay, we can buy them in Cinnabar. Okay, let's head over to Lavender Town. And head through Pokemon Tower. Uh, Psychic against the Ghosts is the best way to go. They're part poison, that's why they're weak to them. Let's, uh... Oh my god. It wasn't even against a trainer gas, it was against a wild one. Oops. I went the wrong way. In my move set. Okay, up, get a channeler, ghastly. Level 35. Now it's the stats. I still stat check. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Okay, grab a red candy. Mother Marowak. Ice beam, done. Psychic, good. Psychic, good. Golbat, psychic, good. Psychic, good. Drowsy, let's use Body Slam. Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Ice Beam will do the rest in easily. Okay, Mr. Fuji will give us the Poker Flute. And. Okay, let's head to Saffron. I'm gonna do Karate King. Should I gain a couple of levels here? Will I need it? I don't think I'll need it, to be honest. Double kick digs did a little bit of damage, but because he does outspeed, but nah, it's, that's no, that's no issue. Okay, over to the Pokemon Center. Oops, okay, one, two, three, that's four, that's four we need, Elector. Alright, let's knock out Arbok. And we have the card key. This is the floor that has the little medical nurse on it. And we can pull in a quick rest before heading up in here. This rocket, body slam, body slam. Grimer Psychic, much up Psychic, level 38. Okay, let's see how Lapras does against a rival. Lapras is slightly under or average to about his level. Does announce speed Pidgeot, but it goes for Whirlwind. Wow. Gyarados Thunderbolt. Oh, Gyarados outsped. Growlithe. Oh, I don't have a water move anymore. Okay, Body Slam. Oh dear, now I'm burned. Which means I'm not doing as much damage with Body Slam. Venusaur, Ice Beam, oh, Leech Seed, that's fine. Oh, it could, could win with a Razor Leaf, and it does win with a Razor Leaf. I got a, I got a little bit unlucky with that burn. Get rid of Eradicate. Body slam on Hypno. You know, 
I've got a couple of super potions just to heal that little bit. Ah, crap. Where have I gone? Okay, I should win this time. Ice Beam, still doesn't outspeed, but one shots. Leer, that's much better. I'm going to go for Psychic. Okay, Thunderbolt. Slam, Body Slam. Good, this is, this is an easy win. Oh! Venusaur outspeed, look how much damage it did. Ah! Oh. oh, that was very unlucky. I don't think that was... I don't think that was Lapras losing the battle, I think that was just unlucky. Venusaur went for two Razor Leafs. Ice Beam. Gyarados, Thunderbolt, and then it went for Dragon Rage. Growlithe, uh, Body Slam. Body Slam, good. Wicked Body Slam, Body... Uh, it's disabled. Uh, Ice Beam. Probably not going to beat Venus. Actually, let's go. No, Ice Beam will be better. How does Venusaur outspeed? Venusaur's not known for being fast. Okay. Um. Let's do Koga first instead. Because that's enough attempts. I'm losing to that rival. Very candy. Alright, because it's annoying, let's do the Safari Zone first. As I come up here, 500 in. I've pretty much lost all my money now as well. Because of how... To be fair, Lapras was just unlucky in some of them. Lapras could win that battle. But let's make it a sure thing. Let's beat Koga. Let's gain an extra level or two. And then, then we'll beat the rival. Okay, gold teeth. And the HM for Surf. Teach Lapras strength. So I'll teach it to the other Lapras. Hypno and Drowsy. Both down. Let's use our last super potion. Lapras shouldn't lose. I do have ducks in the party, but it should be fine. Psychic should one-shot everything. Almost. Down goes coughing. Self-destruct won't knock Lapras out in one hit. Alright, we should... We've gained another couple of levels. So let's try that rival again. Should be able to beat him now. Alright, Ice Beam. We outspeed Pidgeot now. Do we outspeed Gyarados? Yes. Much better. Okay. Let's use Psychic on Growlithe. Still not a one shot, but that's okay. Alakazam, Body Slam. That's good. Okay, Venusaur, Ice Beam. Yep. Easy win that time. It's amazing what just, a, even just one or two, just one or two levels can do. Okay, we now have two Lapras. And it's time to get rid of Body Slam. Surf, surf, surf. 
surf and surf. I don't have an escape rope, I'll have to walk out of here, but that's fine. Okay, Sabrina is now free to be battled. So, Lapras, it should win. Uh, it's got... Uh, I should have kept Body Slam just for this one battle. That uh, should be fine. Surf. I mean, Body Slam would probably be a one hit. Ice Beam. Hope for a freeze. Otherwise, it's a three hit KO. Either way, it was still a relatively easy battle. Hang on, I'm running in two of them. There we go. Okay. Alright, back to future. So I can give this man his teeth. Alright, HM4 will teach you strength, which I'll teach to the other Lapras. And now we are off to Cinnabar Island. And up on Cinnabar Island is where the mansion is. Um, and Blaine's gym. Buy some repel. Buy an escape rope. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Okay. Okay, through the middle, around this way, down here, up here. Back the way you came, up here, in here. There's a rare candy in here, up in the top corner. Rare candy here, and the secret key. Okay, let's get out of here. Where's my escape rope? Ah, oh, don't tell me my X button didn't register. Dark man. I thought I put. I didn't notice that the button didn't register. have to reset this one as well to get out. Alright, well that was annoying. Okay, it does Lapras need more levels? It shouldn't do. It should be fine. And Blaine, obviously, not going to be any difficulty. As long as Lapras can outspeed, which it does surf, Ponyta, surf, good, Rapidash, doesn't out. Okay, here we go, fire spin. Blaine went for a super potion a couple of times, we get in surf. Fire blast misses. Probably, it wouldn't have knocked Lapras out, because it's, 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 um, It's part water, so... Oops. Flight of Pewter City, there's nothing there except the museum. 
Okay, 40 minutes into the run, so not too bad. Because Lapras did get off to a bit of a slow start. I don't want Hydro Pump. Psychic, good, psychic, good. Alright, in and out of the building, no more room for items. In and out. Giovanni. You can probably guess how this battle is going to go for Giovanni. Very poorly for him. One shot of all his Pokemon. Alright, how are we going to go with the rival? The rival battle should actually be fine. Ice Beam, Quick Attack, that's fine. Right Horn, Surf, Gyarados, Thunderbolt, Growlithe, Surf, Alakazam, Ice Beam. Be nice if I still had, be nice if I had Body Slam for him. Frozen, very nice. Surf him down. Venusaur, I don't have any Ice Beam. Psychic will do, but it won't do nearly as much. If I had an Ice Beam, I'd win. Oh, crit. It got a crit. If it didn't, it would have been knocked out, but if I had Ice Beam, I would have won anyway, so this Ice Beam would have done a lot more. Once again, we walk this lonely road up to Victory, up to Victory Road. Grab a Max Ether. Badge up here, Volcano Badge, Full Restore, and once again we are in Victory Road. I have Repels, okay, it's just a tedious part isn't it, just pushing these boulders around. To be honest, I reckon this, there's another red candy there at all, I reckon this Victory Road is actually one of the hardest in the series to get through, because it's not completely obvious what you need to do. In the other games, Victory Road you just kind of have to zigzag your way through a path and it's not that difficult. Victory Road in Gem 1, you actually needed to to work out like pushing the boulders on here and it's not as obvious that you've actually got to push one of them down that hole. Make it look easy here because I've done this so many times. Let's push that boulder all the way over, down here, down, down on there. Down, 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 down. Alright, there's another boulder that comes up right there by the hole. Full restore, and we are through Victory Road. Propels with effect has worn off. Alrighty. We have reached. We have reached the end. We're at the Indigo Plateau, let's get rid of Ducks, let's get rid of the other Lapras, and let's spend all our money on full restores. 10 is usually enough. Heal up. Alright, what level are we? 48. Pretty decent stats. Well, actually not really. Stats aren't that great to be honest, it's nearly level 50. I mean, we have over 400 HP. Alright, let's candy it up. Yeah, it's growing in fours, each level with its HP. Alright, so at level 57, 
Yeah, Lapras' stats aren't like amazing. They're not bad, but they're not amazing. Okay, Laurely, Thunderbolt, Dugong. Not not a one shot, but good enough. Cloister is a one shot. Bad special. Okay, let's use Surf against Jinx. And let's use Thunderbolt against that Lapras. It used Body Slam on me and paralyzed me, but it doesn't. I thought Lorelei would be an easy win. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Lapras did this on its first go. Surf, good. Surf, good. Surf is good. Surf is good. Psychic is two hits. Okay. Agatha. Psychic. Lapras is asleep and it's getting dream eaten. It can't outspeed Gengar yet. Special, but that doesn't. Oh, Super Potion, okay. Doesn't even outspeed Haunter. Okay, Lapras did lose on its first attempt and lost to Agatha. Not too worrying though. Okay, good shot against Dugong. Okay, it's a range with Cloyster. But overall, Lorelei, for a change, is an easy battle. I'm not even going to bother healing against Bruno. Although, if Machamp hit Submission, that actually could knock Lapras out. Alright, tough battle. Still not going first, but... Gengar went for Dream Eater before Hypnosis. It's doing half its health. And another Dream Eater, okay. Ice Beam on Golbat, that's good. Psychic on Haunter, still two hits. Now we're confused. One hit on Arbok. Ice Gengar goes for Dream Eater. And again, like, I can't control the AI not using its Dream Eater properly. But if Lapras is asleep and it gets Dream Eater used on it, it does a ton of damage. Alright, Lance, obviously, Thunderbolt, Gyarados, one shot, Ice Beam, they're all going to be one shot. Easy. Okay, at level 61, it'll be 47 minutes. Okay, Lapras has actually stormed home really, really good. Let's use an Elixir. TM21 is Mega Drain. Can Lapras get it under 50 minutes? It's got two minutes to beat Blue, so it's not the time, it's just whether or not Lapras can win. This will be the tough one. It'll be Alakazam that knocks it out. Psychic. Reflect, that's okay. And another Psychic. So it's done more than half of Lapras's health. Surf will knock out right on. Thunderbolt will knock out Gyarados. Surf. And uh, almost knock out Arcanine. Venusaur. Lapras outspeeds and it hits an ice beam. It's over half. Does it get a freeze? No, nope, but it goes for solar beam. As long as you don't get a 1 in 256 miss. Good win. Um, really, really solid. 48 minutes, just below 49 minutes. Um, yeah, Lapras, I didn't think it would have a problem. It had a little bit of difficulty at the start just because of its moveset, but once it got body slammed, that just burst the game right open. It did have a couple of losses here and there, but overall, Lapras, very, very much team-worthy. I, I still like Starmie better. Starmie's just sacrifices that extra HP just to be a bit more of a heavy hitter. Overall, Lapras, I knew it was going to be good, and it certainly was. Level 62, that's a good level. Look at that, decent stats, good HP, really good HP. Can't, can't complain with Lapras. Well, if you've stuck around this long, thanks for tuning in. Really do appreciate the support. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe, stay well. See you in the next video. Take care.